Hey everyone, John here again. And a lot of times, you know, we see our videos and we're talking about stuff we bought. But this one's going to be about some stuff we sold. So here we go. So these three pieces of clothing all came from the same yard sale. And they were selling things for a dollar a piece. And we got some pretty decent stuff. We always do good with Harley Davidson. So we got these Harley jeans for a dollar. Sold them for $33.33 with free shipping. Which would be about $8 for us in a priority envelope. They weigh more than a pound, so you can't go first class with them. You got these Rock Revival PV jeans. You know, real fancy. Hang on, I can bring that in and show you a little bit. You know, kind of fancy embroidery on the pockets. I didn't know the brand, but I knew that jeans like this sell pretty well. You know, with anything, any fancy embroidery and patches. And this looks like there's some... You know, there's some metal stuff on there too so anyway those sold for $35 again with free shipping we paid a dollar for it so that's pretty good this is a basically this is a, a hooded a hooded sweatshirt but I just took a picture of just the um, the gas can or, or the oil can on it this is from a, a local band Blackberry Smoke a, a southern southern rock band and I didn't know who they were but she told me that they were quite popular and so we sold this for $35, plus we added shipping on that one. So whenever we talk about books, we're always saying very specific nonfiction. And here's an example of that. Not just military rifles, but bolt-action military rifles. The more specific you can get, the better. We picked this up for $3 at a thrift store and sold it for $48 free shipping. It cost about $6 to ship it. More specific nonfiction. Now, this is a lot of Indian books, and when we see where we can get six or eight really nice-looking books on any, almost any specific nonfiction subject, we we have an interest in it. And these were fifty cents a piece, so we paid four dollars for these, sold them for forty dollars plus shipping. You can see that we started them at fifty-nine, and we had to, you know, make an offer on it. So I'm sure we had the offer set. If I had it at fifty-nine, I probably had the offer set to automatically accept forty, and I think that's probably what happened there. Uh, cassette tapes are doing pretty well. They seem to be making a comeback right along with VHS tapes, and we'll do a video on just VHS at some point coming up soon here. And this 1973 Dark Side of the Moon Pink Floyd, which of course was a very, very popular album at the time. This sold for $14.88 free shipping. It was first class, cost about $3 to ship it. Anytime we see sealed VHS or cassette tapes or any kind of sealed media, we buy it. And usually they cost a dollar or so or less. Uh, sometimes 10 cents or sometimes you can buy a big lot like this pack I know right here was one dollar and I don't remember exactly what we pay but I know we pick them up whenever we see them wait till we have a nice lot to put together and this one you can see sold for $39.95 with free shipping so that's something to keep an eye open for is a sealed media We sold a whole bunch of DVDs and Blu-rays lately. Now, we don't sell a lot of DVD fiction, but we do sell the Blu-ray fiction. And here we had, and we put 11 of them together, graphic novels, superheroes, comic books, etc. And we pay very little for these. When we're going out yard sailing, I mean, I ask people, well, how much, if, if it's a nice clean lot and there's subject matter that I think we can either sell in some lots on eBay or bring to the flea market for a dollar a piece, I'll ask them how much. And our rule of thumb is if we can get them for between 10 and 25 cents, which quite often you can, then, then we're in. And so, you know, for paying 25 cents a piece, this is one to, you know, not even $3, maybe it's as much as five sometimes and, you know, sell it for 19.50. So there's not a lot of money in those. But when we buy in them huge lots, we try to pick out a little bit to sell on eBay, and then the rest ends up at the flea market for a dollar a piece. We have, you know, some hundreds of them right now getting ready to go there. Again, very specific nonfiction, and a lot of times these don't cost any more. This, this is on a watercolor painting instruction. Three different people. We just put the lot together. You can see we got $42 
for four DVDs, it probably costs us 25 or 50 cents a piece. So that's pretty good. Very specific nonfiction. Again, more nonfiction, you know, music concerts. Didn't get a lot of money for these, but they came along with other stuff pretty cheaply. You know, so nine for $18. We're still getting $2 a piece for those. Free shipping costs probably 5 or $6 to ship those. Great courses. This is something to keep an eye open for. You know, they're, they are what they are. They're, they're great courses on all different types of subject matter. We, we buy and sell these things a lot. So you can see we got 16 DVD and book sets. Basically $10 a set. And that's pretty standard in, in lots with these. And again, these come along, you know, in the dollar a piece range a lot of times. So we can make good money on these. Most of these, I think, yeah. So these are all new and sealed. So, you know, $10 a, a set is pretty good. Somebody actually got a pretty good deal on those because I think they're like $30 or $40 per set, you know, if you buy them new on, out of the catalog. So that's something we always keep our eyes open for. Again, another Blu-ray lot, a little less than a dollar a piece on these, but I know we didn't pay much for them. Um, you know, plus we charge shipping on that. So Sony PlayStation 2 games, this is a new sealed one. I don't know a whole heck of a lot about them, but I saw one. You know, for a dollar, and I grabbed it, and it turned out that it was actually a pretty good one. It sold for thirty-five dollars. And here's another one, uh, Sega Genesis 16. Now these are vintage, old, old vintage games that are not current at all, but evidently people are still playing these. You can see we got twenty-eight eighty-eight for this, and again, in a you know a dollar a piece lot, or, or in, in a big lot for even less than that. Again, more sealed media. This is a reel-to-reel -reel recording tapes and $24.50 with free shipping for that. This came from my, my wife's father's and we have a whole bunch of them up. This is just one that sold. I have, I think, I think we had six or eight of these 60-minute ones and eight or ten of the 90-minute ones. And so I just basically put them up, you know, in quantity, $24.50 a piece and, and somebody bought one. We still have some up for sale right now. Now we're going to get into miscellaneous collectibles and, and, you know, useful stuff. Here's a couple of little Yamaha snow machine models, 2222 plus shipping. Here's a new old stock uh, solar first weather station, indoor outdoor thermometer from L.L. Bean. So this was $2 at a yard sale. And we got $28.88 with free shipping. It went first class because it was under one pound at about $4.50 or $5 to ship it. Tito's Handmade Vodka Mugs. Picked these up for a dollar a piece at a yard sale and sold them for $45 with free shipping. Now, a lot of times if I can control the shipping cost, I will do free shipping. If it's going to be first class, I know it's going to be under 6 or $7. I don't know exactly how I sent these. I don't remember, but I, I know that it couldn't have cost me more than 14 because they would fit in a medium flat rate box. And if they're under two pounds, then it taps out right around 12 or $13. So I could control the shipping on that. So I just, I just offered free shipping with it. And I think that helps sell things a little bit. And again, we paid $3, maybe $14 in shipping, so we did pretty well with those. Uh, soft click lancets for checking blood sugar level. And we have sold these a bunch of different times. These are not the most expensive ones, but we pick them up for next to nothing. And you know, sold them for $24.95 free shipping. I know these went first class because they're under one pound, so it didn't cost us a heck of a lot to, to ship them either. Love this old Revereware stuff. You can see these are the Revereware copper bottom pots and pans. This is a, an unusual size when you don't find 12 quarts very much. And as you can see, we did pretty good with it, $65. We paid $5 a piece for, for this one and the next one I'm going to show you. And I would pay 15 or 20 but I didn't have to. I got them for 5 which is really nice. Um, so we got $65 for that. Twelve fifteen shipping now. What... This one I, I did not offer free shipping because there was no way that I could control the shipping costs because it's calculated by weight and zone. So this evidently went pretty close to us. It was only $12.15 because this was probably a four pound package. Now, there's no way I can ship that, no way I can control the cost. It probably went in state 
if it was four pounds for about twelve dollars if it had gone to let's say california the other side of the country from us in florida it could cost me thirty dollars to ship it so i can't really control the shipping so i add it and and have it calculated and then people can decide if it's worth it to them to have it shipped again another one that we bought for five dollars in that same lot and this is a 16 quart so you got a 12 and a 16 really getting up there the eights and tens are fairly common but if you get a 12 or a 16, it's a nice shape. It's an easy sell because they're just, you know, there aren't as many of them as there are the other ones. And again, you can see 48.50, and this one was five dollars more to ship it. So this went a little further away, evidently. That's a good thing to keep your eyes open for these. See, this one is Revere Wear. It's got the copper bottoms, and this one is the Farber Wear. And this just has an aluminum, a thicker aluminum clad bottom. They're great pots and pans. We use them all the time. And the big thing you see right here sits flat, right? If they wobble, you don't want them because you just can't get as much money for them. They need to sit flat. Dr. Seuss watch. We bought two of these for a dollar a piece at a yard sale. And I, I still remember it was in Freiburg, Maine. And there was one that was not in the box. And neither one of them was working. I put a battery in each one. And you can buy batteries really, really cheap online in bulk. So it's not hard to just keep some batteries at, on hand. Most of them take, most watches, I would say 90% of the watches we get take the same size battery. So I just keep those in stock. And if it's an expensive watch that needs something else, you can usually get a battery for three to four, you know, two or three or five dollars at the very, very most. And, you know, usually you can get three or four of them for five dollars. So we had one that was not in the box. We brought that to the flea market and sold it for ten dollars. And this one we put out at Christmas time and it sold for forty eight forty eight with free shipping. Again, first class, so it was easy to control the shipping and not very expensive. But that that was that was a nice sale. Here's something you may not see very often. This is chaga which is a medicinal mushroom that's quite popular. And I harvest this in the White Mountains of New Hampshire and Maine. And you can see we get, we get $68 for four pounds of it. Now this stuff grows on birch trees and I find it when I'm out hiking in the woods. I, I bring it home, I dry it, I chop it up into chunks. And so this is basically free. So we sold this one for $68. And we sold another lot for $78. This one was five pounds, and that was four pounds. So it's just something it's you know, just something that I know about. I know where to find it in the woods, and I harvest it when I see it. So that's just another little another little side income that, that I, ge I generate from just a little bit of knowledge of something I'm seeing in the woods that's free. Love Ray-Bans. We buy these all the time. We pay $10 a piece for this in the next set you'll see. And this set sold for $60. Again, free shipping because I can control the cost. First class under one pound. And not as much for these, $35. But I'll pay $10 and even $20 for Ray-Bans all day long if the lenses aren't scratched. And even if the lenses are scratched, you know, you can sell the frames. But you don't want to be paying $10 for scratched lenses. Golf balls, buy and sell these things all the time. These are not the best of balls, and we got only 33.33, and it cost me $14 to ship them. So there really wasn't a whole lot of profit. I paid $4 for, for these, and there were more than 100, but I can really only get 100 or so, 100, 110 into a medium flat rate box, so that's how I sell them. And I probably kept the best ones and just put the other ones in $1 bagfuls at the flea market. Here's something that's neat. We paid five dollars for this. It had a. It's like it's like in brand new condition. Whenever you see these jerseys, these sport jerseys, what you want to look for is to see that they aren't screen printed. Like all these things that you see on there, these are actually sewn on patches, and that's the difference between the twenty-five dollar one and and the sixty-nine dollar or hundred even hundred dollar ones. But I got this cheap put it out for $69 again with free shipping because I could control the cost I can fit it in a flat rate envelope which is only about eight bucks so we did really well on that we're pretty happy with it so more sporting stuff we got this jade yoga mat popular brand paid a couple dollars for it sold it for 20 again plus shipping because we can't control the shipping so we didn't know so we got $20 for it and added shipping calculated 
more sports. Something you may not think about a lot is weights. And you can see that you can get some decent money for them. They're a little bit of work to ship because, you know, here we're dealing... Wait a minute, this is only 10 pounds of weights and we got 38.50 for it. So that wasn't that big a deal. And we don't pay more than a dollar a pound for these ever. And we buy them in big, big lots when we see them. Sometimes you can get two or 300 pounds at a time. And some of them sell for good money. The ones that don't, we just pile them up in the garage and put an ad on Craigslist or Marketplace. And, and someone will come and, and pick up the ones that don't sell well online. But you can see Weeder, remember that name, $38.50 for 10 pounds of weights. And we, again, don't pay more than a dollar a pound for them, and sometimes a lot less. Here's 20 pounds for 58.50. Again, weeder. And what you want to look for is for the stainless steel ones, not those cement fill or concrete fill plastic ones. Those really aren't worth much money at all. But there are some brands. The weeder is a good one. Gold's Gym is another. And you can get pretty good money for these if you're willing to work the, the poundage. Yeah, here's Sports Authority. Again, uh, 30 pounds for $50. And I know we didn't pay that much. Again, free shipping with these. These would fit in a medium flat rate box, so it cost me $14 to ship them. Coleman Lanterns. I look for these things all the time, and some of them are quite, quite valuable. I mean, they can, they can range into the $500 to $1,000 range for some of these older Coleman Lanterns, and they're all dated on the bottom there's a date on the bottom so you can see i said 899 this was new in a box it was i didn't even know it was new the box was all beat up and we grabbed it at a yard sale it was a dollar and there was another one for a dollar that we got sometimes you know prices are just crazy the thing was in in the garage it, the box was you know just covered in a half inch of dirt and i picked up two lanterns how much a dollar each yeah sure i didn't even look inside i didn't even know this thing was new till i got it home i would have just bought it for a dollar for parts but it was brand new easy to easy to list especially when they're new you don't even have to test them and we got 65 dollars for it with free shipping here's another thing that we keep our eyes open all the time these little camping stoves backpacking camping stoves and again it's a coleman there are ones that are more valuable but this one turned out to be pretty good um, i cleaned it i tested it it worked and i got 135 dollars for it paid five dollars for this at a yard sale i buy those things all day long old beer advertising can't go wrong with that and this is not even the best piece we sold the next one coming up was even better we picked this up for five dollars at a yard sale i think yeah it was at a yard sale and got 96 we put it up for bid because we really couldn't find any comps on it so we put it up for bid started it at 75 dollars got 96 plus shipping so we we're really happy with that this was a neat find an old budweiser lighted sign this is probably from the 1960s or so and i picked it up from another dealer for 40 dollars bought whole bunch of stuff from him that day and this he was just clearing stuff out i got this for 40 dollars and you can see we got 300 for it plus shipping so that was really really cool so i hope this little video gives you some idea of the kind of things we look for and things you can be finding yourself some out of the box things that you might not think about hope you're enjoying the videos please subscribe to the channel hit the little bell you'll be notified when we put up other videos and hopefully you know, what we're doing can help you make some money. All right. See you next time. Bye. How do I shut it off?